Hello everyone and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to get any car for free after the patch 1.14 and the reason why this is actually the best way is because this can be done in an invite only session. Not many people know this, the typical method is that you have to go into an online session to do this but of course you do have to deal with the stress of online players potentially killing you whereas today I'm going to be showing you single handedly the best way to do this. This is going to be a complete tutorial on how to bring your cars from single player to multiplayer and then store them in your garage for free and i hope you guys do go on to enjoy if you do feel free to drop a like down below guys maybe share the video on your social medias as it really would help me out also my next video is going to be one of the best money making guides in the game and if we can try it around 700 likes beforehand guys that would be absolutely awesome and without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into this so starting this off the first thing you guys want to do is go into a single player session as trevor now once you guys have done that you want to go ahead and get any vehicle of your choice the vehicle that you want to bring in from single player to multiplayer and you want to park it in the strip club parking lot exactly where i am now as you guys are going to see by the map as well now the good thing about this is you can actually get any of the dlc cards for absolutely free inside of trevor's garage which is marked orange on the map as you guys can now see in single player all of the dlc cards are absolutely free so you can go ahead go to that garage take out one of the dlc cars then take it over to the Los Santos Customs and fully upgrade it and then bring it back over to the strip club if you really want to and all you have to do guys is simply park it in one of these strip club parking spaces exactly as I do and then once you guys have done that you want to go ahead and make a quick save now as you guys can see I am using the dubster 6x6 with a gold paint which means I'm going to be getting a free dubster before level 100 and of course I will be getting the pure gold paint as well before level 100 Nevertheless guys once you have made that quick save what you then want to do is simply get into any random vehicle and then drive a good distance away from the strip club. You don't have to drive too far as long as you are a good distance away and then what you guys want to do from there is simply hold down on the d-pad and select your multiplayer character. This will now put you into a multiplayer session. Now what you guys want to do from there is make sure that the session you are in is nearly full of players. I would suggest around 12 players at least and then once you guys have done that you want to go ahead and press start then go across to the game store and press A once. It will now say are you sure you want to access the game store. Now you have to be really quick and really precise here guys. As soon as you press A to enter the game store you want to hold down on the d-pad and then select Trevor from single player as fast as you can. Now if done correctly it will say are you sure you want to quit the session. What you want to do is simply wait on that screen for around 5 seconds and then press A. What it will now do is it will transition you into another session but before it does that it's going to put you into the game store. Now once it loads you into the game store simply press B to back out from the game store and then it will spawn you down into a session. You may spawn frozen or you may spawn being able to walk around. Either way the next step is to go ahead and press start then go to the game store ones again and this time when you go to the game store is where the invite only part takes place when you enter the game store this time and you are on the game store screen you can go ahead and accept your friend's invite to an invite only session or a closed friend session so have your friend invite you to either a closed friend session or an invite only session when you are on the game store screen then you can go ahead and accept his invite and this time when you accept his invite and you press A to join, it's going to spawn you down into his session as Trevor from single player as you guys can now see. When you accept his invite, it will spawn you down into his session as Trevor from single player and that is what you want guys, instead of going to an online session, you can just do what I have just done there and then that way you can stay in your friend's session and have no hassle from online players. Anyway, once you have spawned down, the next step is to have you and your friend both meet at the same strip club in the back of the parking lot, exactly where you parked your car in single player. So as you guys can see, we have now made it over to the strip club and my friend is also here, as you guys can see there. And you want to have your friend watch over the strip club parking spaces, as you guys can see, exactly where I parked my dubster. Now the dubster is not there yet. To make it spawn, what you guys want to do is press start. Then go to the game store and this time guys when you go to the game store and it brings you onto the game store screen and then you back out from the game store it's going to load up your single player data which means that your friend is going to see the vehicle spawn directly in front of his eyes. That is why you need a friend in the game, he needs to watch over the parking spaces and as soon as you go to the game store in the parking lot it's going to load up your single player data and the vehicle is going to spawn there. Now when you spawn back down and you run over there, you're not going to see it just yet guys, you have to kill yourself and then when you kill yourself and you run back there, you are going to be able to see the vehicle and you will now be a multiplayer character once again. 
Now you have successfully done the single player to multiplayer glitch. I have now transferred a vehicle from single player, which is a dubster 6x6, which is golden, from single player, and I have now transferred it to multiplayer. Now the next step is to store this in my garage, meaning that I can get the dubster for free before level 100. Now what I'm about to show you is the insurance glitch, I made a video on this the other day. This does work on your friend's vehicle, so I'm going to be using a friend's vehicle as demonstration. But this works on any vehicle that you have just brought in from single player to multiplayer using what I have just shown you. So get the vehicle that you want to store in your garage and park it a good distance away from your garage. It doesn't have to be too far away, as long as you aren't too close then you are fine to go. Now once you have parked it there, simply get out and then walk inside of your garage. Bear in mind this is my friend's dubster which means I am basically going to be getting a free copy of my friend's car. Once again, this does work on single player to multiplayer cars. Nevertheless guys, once you are inside of your garage, the next step is to get into any vehicle that you do not want anymore. So get into the vehicle that you do not want as it is going to get replaced with the car you have just parked outside. I'm going to be using the blue car to the right of me just for demonstration. And the next step guys is pretty tricky to do so try to follow me as best you can. You might mess this up a few times but trust me with persistence you will get this to work. What you want to do is hold down on the d-pad, select Michael from single player, then press B. B. Now you want to keep doing this over and over again guys, hold down on the d-pad, select Michael from single player, press B and keep doing that as fast as you can in a nice rhythm and keep going until you are in a nice rhythm with it and then when you are in the rhythm what you want to do is press RT this time to accelerate then hold down on the d-pad then select Michael and then press B. So whilst you are in a nice rhythm, just accelerate, hold down on the D-pad, select Michael, press B as fast as you can and if done correctly, you will now be able to drive around inside of your garage. Now once again guys, if you cannot follow me here, I did another tutorial on this alone. You guys can check that out down in the description down below. Nevertheless guys, now you are able to drive around inside of your garage and the next step is to press start, then go to jobs, go to join job and join a random race. This will now put you into a race lobby. As soon as you guys can, simply quit from that race lobby as fast as you can. And then when you guys quit, you may get a loading screen for around 30 seconds. And after that loading screen, you will be spawned down into a glitched position inside of your garage, as you guys can now see. Now once you guys are in the glitched position, you now want to run as fast as you can into the vehicle you parked outside. And when you get inside of that vehicle, you now own it. It will glitch you back inside of your garage as you guys can see and that is basically the glitch done. The vehicle may disappear, it is now inside of your garage as soon as you come back out and then go back into your garage, the vehicle will be there, meaning you have successfully got the car for absolutely free. Once again, this works on your friend's vehicle so you can go ahead and create a copy of your friend's vehicle using this and keep it for yourself. This is a great glitch to do guys, I hope you all enjoyed, as you guys can see there the dubster is inside of my garage and this works on single player to multiplayer vehicles. Once again guys, hope you all enjoyed, sorry for the long tutorial, I did want to explain everything in this video on how to do this and the best way to do so, so hopefully you found it helpful and without further ado guys, if you did enjoy be sure to drop a like and I guess I will see you all in the next video.